right, so let's try another one. I hopped down to 20, 22, 24. Um, real super quick, 14, 16, 18. It just asks to determine whether the graphs are given equations that are parallel, are they perpendicular, or neither. But you have to get them graph ready, so these two I can look at them and right away I can find my two slopes, and you can figure it out. But this one, look at this, you can see the slope in this one, but this one, you have to get it equal, you have to kind of work through it and get y equals something x plus b. You have to solve it for y before you can figure out what the slope is, and then you can check if they're um, the same, are they opposite reciprocals or neither. Um, and same with number 18, you have to solve for y first, and then you can check from there. Right, so hopefully that helps a little bit there. You just gotta check the slopes. 14, right in slope intercept form. Okay, it passes through the given point, it's perpendicular. Okay, so 20, here we got 20. First thing I wanna do is find the graph, or not the graph, the slope. Here it is. So if that's the case, then I write down for number 20, m equals 1 half, but I want perpendicular. So perpendicular, what do you know about the sine? Sine is opposite. And then this, I have to flip it to two over one. So be careful, perpendicular, there's a little more involvement. And then I don't, this is like old, not important. So negative two and three. Now I go back, I don't worry about that. And I'm going to start, I've got a point, I've got a slope, so I start in point slope form. Hmm. Here's my slope. In my equation, I'm just going to write it as negative 2. Could it be 2 over 1? Yes. But it's not hugely important because there's no other fractions in there. So because I'm not graphing right now, it's, it's good enough to leave it at negative 2. Then, um, let's see. Here's my x. x goes with x minus 2. Do you see what I did? Minus a negative makes a positive. And then here's my y, so I put that there. Am I done? I am not. Because my ultimate goal, slope intercept, I need a y equals mx plus b. So I multiply it through, get negative 2x minus 4, y minus 3. Almost done. What's my last thing? Got it. Plus three, plus three. So y equals negative two x minus one. All right, I'm not gonna solve any more for you just because lunch is almost over and you're gonna start hearing bangs on the door. But we can look at, let's just check at 22 and get you started. Um, oh gosh, this is not even graph ready yet. I don't know what the slope is x minus 2y equals 7. In order to figure out what the slope is, I have to solve for y. So what happens? Um, subtract 1x from both sides. When I do that, okay, I'm going to make a mistake on purpose. See if you can see it. Negative 1x plus 7. What's my mistake? Yes, forgot to bring that down. Now, is the y by itself yet? No. So I divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. So y equals negative, negative, positive, positive, 1 half x minus 7 halves. Do I really care about this piece? I don't. All I care about is the 1 half. Now, so what's my slope? Well, I want perpendicular. So perpendicular means I have to change the slope. I have to do something to it. Right now it's positive. So my perpendicular slope has to be negative. And then I reciprocal it. So negative 2 over 1. Do I have to write the 1? No. It's good. Not necessary. And my point is negative 3, 2. So I'm just going to take you to this place. Y minus, put it in 2, point slope first, equals your slope times x minus your new x. There you go. I think you can get it from there. 
24 is super similar to 22. You've got to solve for y first. Almost the exact same. Be careful of this negative sign. And then later you'll plug this in. And don't forget to solve for y equals mx plus b at the end. Hopefully that's enough to get you going. Um, tomorrow is Thursday. I'm here in the morning. Have a good night.